Fuck serious, bro. Let me smile. Hey. Big quads. Quads are swollen right now. That interest that. That sweep was crazy. Still got condition. Hit a side shot. Hey, cool. Hey, cool. So welcome to our second episode of this athlete series. Um, today's going to be focused on Corey Gonzalez, uh, new WMBF pro and the core nutritionals demo rep in the uh, New York region. So um, essentially, it's really funny how me and Corey got started working together. Um, his first show was in 2010 at the INBF Long Island Experience and the funny thing about it is I was 18 years old at the time, and I was actually spectating that show. It was the first time that I've ever been to a bodybuilding show. Um, I didn't even know natural bodybuilding existed. I didn't know that there was a separate category, you know, drug-tested affiliations and all that. So I was there supporting a good good friend of mine, Devlin Ramirez, and my girlfriend, Ryan, just in, we were just in the audience, and... Um, that was the first time Corey ever stepped on stage. So um, just funny how everything came back full circle, how we became great friends over the years and now that we have this relationship. So um, that that competition in 2010, Corey took the um, novice middleweight class. And then in 2011, he did the IMBF Doc Brown show um, where he won the where he won his weight class at the Open. And um, he was way better conditioned in 2011. Um, he worked with Lane Norton that year, so his conditioning was pretty much on point. And um, and then he continued his season in 2011 and did the INVF WMBF Worlds, um, where he took fifth in the open lightweight class. Um, from what I hear, I wasn't there, but his conditioning was on point. It's just that he lacked some, he lacked some size compared to uh, the other competitors, so... He took a long off season. He took four years off from 2011 to 2015, and um, it was you know exactly what he needed. He worked his tail off those years, and we started linking up together. I started coaching him in July of 2014. So um, when we got together, he was definitely a little bit fluffy. He was around 205, and uh, we planned to do a mini cut so he would be in a much better position for the 2015 season so we took him from about 205 to uh we stayed around 178 for quite a while and that's where we were in a gain-taining reverse dieting phase for quite a while um, where he made great improvements uh, um, the cool thing was he was eating more food at 178 pounds than he was when he weighed 205 so um, we really changed his training I don't think it has to do with magical macros or anything like that. Um, he was on a, a powerlifting based program before um, linking up with me. And once we got together, the intensity of the workouts really increased. Total volume definitely increased. Um, and I think that the metabolic demand due to the training is what allowed him to take in so much more food, even though he was call it 30 pounds lighter. So um, we had great success. We went into the 2015 Hercules, which was our plan, and he took the open lightweight class, which got him his WMBF Pro card. So I'm very proud of him. Uh, Corey's a great guy, speaks his mind. He represents an amazing company. Um, he's a very good friend, and I'm glad that we got this relationship going right now. So shout out to Corey. We got together today for a leg workout and all that footage is to come. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions for Corey, I'm going to leave the contact information down below so you guys could take a look at what, everything he's doing. And if you have any questions, you could shoot him a message. All right, so I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the footage and I really appreciate you guys checking in. Um, feel free to you know leave a comment, contact me directly if you want any specific videos later in the future but i hope you enjoy this second episode of the athlete series thank you for watching
So I'm looking out with my boy over here. Yo, what's good? Right. <laughs> Representing Core Nutritionals. Yeah, boy. Um, we just got to Westbury. We're going to Sparta Gym right now. So Corey's never been over here. It's one of my favorite gyms on Long Island. And uh, we're about to party. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get it. It's going down. We on the Stairmaster, bro. This is where the bros are at. Glutes and hammies on deck. Yes, sir. Corey's etching out those glutes right now on here. I'm talking about butt blaster, right? <laughs> we're gonna do this for a couple minutes because we were in the car for like a good hour. So definitely need to warm up yep. before yep. just hitting the weights. Okay, so it's going down, baby. All right, guys. We have a special guest appearance today. <laughs> you know, I didn't have my Batman shirt on, but luckily I did find Bane. He's over here. Bane is in the building. Do you see him on the treadmill? So I gotta go crush these weights and uh, protect Gotham from Bane. So, you know, stay tuned. Come on. Come on. Get it. I get the thunder dies. Go. You gonna drop it? Go. Crush it. Go. Go. Speed that shit. Go. Okay. Double. Double drop. Go. Got a placement. Go. Spread them legs, daddy. Let's go. Your tricep look high. Right. Hmm. All the way. Let's get it. Free exhaust. Super set with the sissy. All the way up, that extra inch. That extra, come on. Gotcha. <laughs> Good, let's get it up, hold it. Good, okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's an RPG of six. Right. 
Let's go. Pop that booty. Corey and I were talking and he's really about this gym. He really likes this gym and he, he came up with his own theory. You know, all this shit that everyone talks about, you know, fake natties, who's natties, fake natties. You know, it's not even about drugs or who's taking drugs. You know what it is? It's the gym. It's the quality of gym. Because this Spartan gym here is better than any fucking gym I've ever been to. So that's what it is. The guys with the best physiques obviously go to the best gym. It has to be. I mean, there's no other answer. That's what it is, man. Coming from Corey, that's his theory. You know, I keep it real. All right, let's go, you Bulgarians. That unilateral work, let's go. Come on. 
I guess too, so definitely smashing some serious calories right now. Corey likes to eat a lot more than I do, I'll tell you that right. Pretty lean. Yeah. Claims he's natty, but he carries around freaking supplements with him, so. We got the, we got RALA, we got digestive enzyme, chromium picolate, whatever it's called, and core heart, you know? So, I'm good to go, baby. What's the core heart for? to harden you up, lower uh, cortisol levels, stuff like that. So, I know a lot of people take it mostly for prep, but I'm gonna take it in the off season just because, see how it goes. Okay, okay. So yeah, he's, he's, all, he's all set. He definitely needs those digestive enzymes for this meal, so. Yo, when I, when I, laid, when I laid that fart before, <laughs> enzyme of peace. <laughs> Insulin sensitivity on point. <laughs> Benefits of being lean. Benefits of staying lean in the off season. Reverse dieting, kind of for the win. You know? For the win. Staying flexible though. You're still eating whatever you want. Yeah. Body composition is on point though, right? Still got serratus, still got obliques, still got uh, veinage. You know, a little bit of veinage. Thick skin conditioning. <laughs> yeah, so far so good. At 180 pounds, 15 pounds over stage weight. You know, so doing a lot better now than I did before. So. Yeah. But you know, when you're in the middle, let me tell you something. When you're the metabolic king, you can pretty much eat whatever you want and just be metabolic and anabolic at the same time. Sometimes I go catabolic. But that's what we do over here. We're competitive breed. Oh, man. Unlimited calories. Oh, boy. 